What's up, guys? I am here with Life is Strange Episode 3, Chaos Theory. I'm so excited for this one. Um, I feel like... In the previous episodes of Life is Strange... This is, is gonna strange. be an intense one. <gasps> called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> We're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Chloe was kind of a hey, biatch the last Stone episode. Memories. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> what are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. And we blame Nathan. What the hell is this? Got him suspended. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled <clears throat> today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. All right, let's uh, get this going. I'm really, I'm kind of scared for this episode. The the little trailer for it looked pretty intense, so. I guess we'll just go with the flow and see what happens. I'm still really happy that I was able to save Kate. Uh, that was a big accomplishment. <clears throat> and I'm I'm really scared to see like how my decisions keep on affecting the game. Because there are some things that happen that make you regret the decisions you've made. So I'm kind of scared, but I love this game. <clears throat> There's my room. Am I going to get to water the plant again? <laughs> Oh, we're taking care of Kate's rabbit. Uh-oh. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Are we doing this, like, right now? Are we really breaking into the school, like, right away? <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. Um... It's not looking so good. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Oh! Whoops, I didn't know that... Um, I didn't know that watering it that much would kill it. I only watered it twice. Once per episode. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't have, though. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today, with most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the student, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. 
Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student talk talking Marsh down to safety. Click here for video footage and further details. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Oh, now these people want to be nice to her. Like Victoria and Taylor. Fake bitches. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everyone seems happy with us. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Let's feed the rabbit a carrot. Are you hungry, bunny? Here, nosh on this. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else in here? It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. She doesn't look very happy there to me. <laughs> um. All right. Let's go. Okay, this it's is dark. very dark. <laughs> Let there be... That's freaky. It's Victoria's room. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So much hypocrite. No kidding. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. What'd that say? No balls allowed. You can go into Dana's room. Is the bathroom open? Hey, Taylor. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Uh, we won't blame her. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just, like, shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Ooh. Where'd she go? <laughs> Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. See ya. Um. Oh yeah. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Me too. Ugh. Cave Max want to shower, but no time. <laughs> Must meet Chloe. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Can we though? Can we go in there? Let's do it. I don't want to get caught. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, Victoria, what do you- Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to detective, What do you got? I might as well search- These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Some shoes. Those boots are made for walking runways. I'll title this one, Portraits ah. of Assholes. 
Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Damn. Okay, that's something. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. I hate them. What's in here? That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Snoop on our computer. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hey, sweet tea. What's up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. Like it was watching... It was like watching a reality show. And I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. What a trip that was today, seeing Max and Kate like that. I needed a drink too. Let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Nathan. Lame. Party on, dudes. That Twemo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns a fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. Dumbass. <laughs> my parents have lost their shit and are threatening me t with a fucking job at my dad's office. Oh no, a job. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down and... And the end of the world party is fucking on. You win? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble? And yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later so that we can plot in person. Hang in there. Wow. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Yeah, there's something sketchy. It's in her backpack. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Hmm. Victoria is about as... <sighs> Nothing to see here. Oh. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. That must be everything. Not then. that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Okay, let's go talk to Dana. I think we already looked at that thing. Make sure. This is both sad. And pathetic. Yeah, we saw that already. Turn her computer. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and I know how hard it is for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me, even for me when everything else is so fucked up and I am here for you always. I miss you. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof and feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate and I don't even think they're BFFs. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and you're just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer a few qu short questions. It seems like there are far too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Hi, Julia. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves more some... Kate deserves some privacy for a change. Huh. 
Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. She was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to give her too much information. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get to Chloe. Just looking at all the slates. All right. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Well, I want to look around first, because there's always stuff to look at. Squirrel! Hey, squirrel. Can we go in here? We can. Yes. Let's go in. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Me too. I mean, I don't want to judge him, but he, there's something weird about him. Like, he's obviously weird, but there's something sketchy. Nothing about here. him. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was in a runway fashion? I don't think that's what he's into. <laughs> um Yeah. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Huh. That's weird. That's fishy. Alright. Oh. Hang on, bitch! Do I have... It says I have a new text message. Oh. From Mom. She's proud of me for saving Kate. Warren. Just had to remind you again of how fucking awesome you were today with Kate. I'll make you a superhero suit with a 3D printer. Dinner's on me. Um, private number. Hey whore, feminine. Nazis will be exterminated. Who the fuck is that? God damn. I'm not a whore. <laughs> the Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Was that there before? I don't remember that. Maybe it was, I don't know. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Should I sit for a minute? I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe Why? it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. You should be proud of yourself. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history. Big and small. Okay. Let's go. Principal uh, Wells. Oh. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. The fuck? Not yet, anyway. 
What's he doing? How do I get past him? Blackwell almost lost another student. Wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. What? Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for the Boo hoo, bitch. God. Cheers. Is he drinking? The fuck? Do I just like go for it and see what happens? <laughs> Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You ah. earned good <laughs> dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Well, he had his back turned. Let me go back and see if that works. We can sneak past him while his back is turned. Oh, what am I doing? Max there we go. The ninja Easy. Again. Easy peasy. Alright. Let's go meet Chloe. I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh god. I don't want to do it. What if we get caught? Oh my god, what is gonna happen? I'm so fucking scared. Oh yeah! Oh you fucking bitch! <laughs> Get it? Boo, yeah. Like a scary punk ghost. Oh my god. You're like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Well, you did it. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow <laughs> stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Should I say chaos theory? Chaos theory? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? I thought he was just suspended. I don't think he was expelled. Wait, what? I wasn't listening. What did you say? Damn it. I don't know what to say now. <laughs> I wasn't listening to her. Um. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say kicking it. I don't know whether to say alive or dead. I'm gonna say alive. Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. 
I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. Oh God, I don't You're such do a it. boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a Shit. portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime. Oh, shut guys. up, bitch. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Ugh. Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. <laughs> and, uh... Back off, I bitch. I haven't picked the winner yet. You oh, already God. have my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. Oh, my God, Victoria, fun, stop it. Don't you think? No. I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You <laughs> might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might oh have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Stupid bitch! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! The fuck? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I might need to take a break before I do this. Or is it just gonna go in for it? Oh, they're going. Alright. No, no time for breaks. Oh, shit. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. Fuck We're you. not kids anymore. <laughs> We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. I don't know. And my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Shit balls, god damn it, I don't want to do this. Oh my god. This is so fucked. We're so fucked. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. Oh, dang Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. <laughs> What's up? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Okay. Why, yes, I could. Oh my god, I don't like this. I have the chills right now. I really do. Nothing here. Key rack. Oh. Here are the keys. <laughs> None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. 
But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? <laughs> Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? <laughs> huh? No, I'm just asking for just fun. Just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. <sighs> yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Ooh. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. <laughs> the race is on. See you soon. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Letter. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. As head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a su surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you'll redact this petition and consider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. You know, he really is a douchebag, but I, I don't think he's the bad guy here. I think he's a good guy. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Can we look at the trash can? Just emptied. Nothing here. I don't like the music. It's scary. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Nothing in it. Continue. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max <laughs> did help Warren this morning. What's that? Oh, sugar. Ooh, sugar. Only three more items to go. It's up here. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. <laughs> A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. I never said they were great, troll. <laughs> Everybody's asleep. Aww. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Let's do it. Good evening, fish fish. Photo. <clears throat> Thanks, fish. Nice work. Okay, let's turn it off now so that Please we resume your slumber. Get caught. <laughs> All right. So, 
sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Chemistry stuff. <laughs> no, this mixture doth not work. Well, I don't see anything else. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Ooh. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. <laughs> so, do we gotta look in other rooms then? I'm guessing we will have to. Okay. Go in the photography class or the art class. This is like a scene in a horror film. <gasps> oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? It's just a guy sitting in a chair. <laughs> Am I missing something here? It just looks like a guy to me. Doesn't look like anything special. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Hmm. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Okay, there's gotta be something. The, the tape, tape is mine. You're halfway home, Max. Where else can we go to look for stuff? So what else do we need? Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Here's the soda can. Okay, I have the can. Okay, so... Only one more ingredient left. Oh, it's right there, okay. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Okay. So... Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Let's go back. And blow shit up. Cause that won't get us caught at all. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! <laughs> if you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul us. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh god. That was so fucking cool. Oh, oh we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fuck. Fire and Police Fuck. Department. Uh, Shit. Hurry up. Let's just look real quick. Or what are we doing? What are we doing? Do we rewind? What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Oh! 
Oh! Oh! How did I do that? Oh! I can unlock it for her now, huh? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. I forgot the you could teleport. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. <laughs> yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. <laughs> this is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay. That was pretty cool. I totally forgot that you could do that. Okay. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBAY 7 News. And her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs. She has one of the best attendance records. As a school nurse, I would inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it is important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. At present time, there is a security investigation into comp into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim being of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Hmm. Only two more files to go. I'll turn that off. We don't need that. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. In there. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel has stopped attending class for the past month. Her parents are, at the present, unaware of her whereabouts. Rachel is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies. Uh, just popular. Um, just want to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We will always keep our eyes open and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Hmm. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. GPA 1.7. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell. Despite the 
the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. She's no longer a student. All right. Let's nab this. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott... Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He's a proud representation of Blackwell. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. All right. What's this? That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Um, it is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in this, their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and we shared a concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Which is probably going to come back and bite us in the ass. Like, those cameras sound like a pretty good idea right now. <laughs> Well, not right like now, but close. yeah, right now we don't want the cameras, but you know what I mean. So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. In light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be re rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect, I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. 